Hi friends, my name is Sham. You are watching Shreya Computer Tech Channel. Friends, today is our topic is how to install Oreo 8.1 in Samsung S7 Edge. So friends, before do this, you have to remove your memory card. For last any data, take your complete phone's backup. It will completely wipe your data. Let's be started. First of all, we need to switch off this phone. Reboot this phone by pressing Menu, Volume Up, and Power button simultaneously. When your phone is booted into TWRP, the home screen is appears like this type. We need to take a backup before wiping our data so that we can restore our original ROM if anything happens in the stock ROM. Simply, here, friends, click on Backup, select in this criteria Boot, Recovery, System, Data, and Modem, and simply swipe right to take a backup. Backup will take approximately three to four minutes. After it will finish, then we go to home screen to wipe our temporary data. Press on back button. Press on wipe. Select your friends. Advanced wipe. Then screen appears. Select Dolby Art Cache System Data and Cache. These are mostly important for wiping our system before we are get any error and bugs. Simply swipe right to wipe data. After the data wiping successfully, then press on back button. Then here, finally, we are going to install a stock ROM. Press on install. Select here custom ROM which you have copied from the PC or directly download from the internet. After selecting this ROM, simply swipe right to install. After it finishes successfully, then we are going to install a GApps versions. Click on back. Select here friends. A G app versions, which is suitable as comfort with you. I will choose the nano version, which attracts nearly 160 MB. Rather, we can install our requirements apps from the Play Store. The versions of G apps: Talk, Aroma, Nano, and Pico. After selecting these, simply swipe right to confirm. Friends, here the G apps were successfully installed in my device. Then final step. We need to wipe a Dolby cache before we reboot this system. Click on wipe cache and swipe right to confirm. Friends, this is the most important step to reboot our phone without any error and bugs. After finishing your wiping, then here press simply reboot system. It will take a three to four minutes to reboot your phone successfully. I will meet you after my device has successfully rebooted on the desktop. Friends. This is the latest Android version in my device. The Android version is Android Oreo 8.1. I will show you the cool new features and final review. Here, when we look up into that menu area, the app notification is directly shown on as like pop-up window. We can manage directly from here without open this application. Friends, this is the notification area. With the compare of Nougat, the color of foreground and background has been changed. And when we have look up into the settings area, the mostly related settings has been segregated in one setting. When we look up into the network and internet, we will find in this criteria a Wi-Fi, mobile network, user data, hotspot, SIM card, and many more. And when we look up into the connected device, Bluetooth, cased, printing, USB, and what you have to connect it. From the PC, when we look up into the display setting, we could find this criteria: a brightness level, night light, adaptive brightness. These are all found in display option. When we come into the storage area, this OS will take approximately a 8.43 GB. At the final, before ending this video, I will show you my device properties. Friend, here you can refer my model number, and the Android version is 8.1.0. Zero security patch is very recent, the 14th January 2018. In this custom room, the security patch and the kernel levels has been updated twice in a month. So friends, hope you like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will meet you with the next technology updates in my next video. Thank you, friends. Bye bye.